Feel any swelling? Yeah, that's definitely. What is going on, crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors with some new additions. Also, all of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. Mid stance and toe off all look symmetrical from each side. Good. Looking at the heels from the back, we might have a little bit of pronation. It looks slight and equal bilaterally. Very slight right shoulder high. There's a slight corresponding right, head, right lateral flexion of the head. Go ahead, turn around. All right, uh, arches are intact. Leave them down, yeah. Arches are intact. Good. And then turn around and face the other way. Just a very slight angulation here of the Achilles tendon indicating this bowing. Okay, I don't see any curvatures here. It's straight up and down. That's good. Uh, not too many postural changes as well. Very slight on the shoulders. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. What are you looking for in terms of temperature? Uh, areas where it's warmer and colder. Uh, right now your shoulder blades are a little bit warmer. Okay. And so dampness and dryness and hot and cold are indicators of how the nervous system is affecting the skin. Okay, the spinal muscle tension starts here. Like very slightly. What about this one up here? Right versus left. Uh, okay, does this one feel like this one? Uh, top one is a little more. It's both sides of the spine. So it's your spinal muscles here. Your okay. rhomboids, traps, levator are all okay symmetrically. Mm -hmm. How about yeah. this left side of tenderness there? Uh, more so on the right, not much on the left. Okay, we're gonna go to the lower SI joint. Okay, tension here. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, lower SI left, tension here. Not so much. Maybe. Yeah. Right SI joint. Okay. I'm gonna check your glute fibers. This tells us which way the pelvis is rotated. Okay. Okay, looking from the bottom of the glute fiber, we have a lower right glute fold. And then looking from the top, we have the external rotated on the right as well. Gentle front to back, rocking a slight lateral to the left and right, but both are slight front to back and left to right, so almost hard to determine. That was the most major sway to the right. Okay, right short stays short. That tells us the left SI joint is the primary. The tenderness of the SI was on the right. I'm going to push down to your right SI. Do you have pain tenderness here? Nope. Left or right? A little bit more on the right. Okay, which one's more tender? Here? Here. Uh, the first one. Okay, so L5 tenderness is more than the SI joint on the right. Mm -hmm. But if we did that here, left SI versus right lumbar. Right lumbar. One more breath, we'll follow this one out. <laughs> okay, let your shoulders relax here and just kind of sink in. Go. Good, shoulders relax, good, just kind of sink in.
All right, let's do this. Go ahead and uh, um, just take a nice, slow, deep breath. Yeah. Now breathe out. Oh. <laughs> yes, and then we push, okay? Okay, okay nice, gentle breathing. All right, a little bit more. Oh. Go ahead and lay on your back. <laughs> Spine. Mm -hmm. We're gonna determine which way to adjust it. Okay. By this process, which side is more tender, left or right? Um, or same. Wait, do it again. Maybe a little bit on the right. Okay. Here we're going to come out to the transverse process of C5. Okay, so the L5. So the anterior rotation is on the, uh, the left. So that means it's gone this way. Like it's turned this way. Mm -hmm. So we're going to push it back this way. Mm -hmm. uh, the inferiority is on the right, which means it's twisted this way. It's like tilted. Okay, we're going to bring the shoulders up. Good. Good. Oh, on your back. <laughs> You know how specific it was? Yeah. <laughs> it was right on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, still short, that's good. Let's do this, now turn your head to the right, left, back to center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Instead of breathing in through your nose, put out through your mouth. Good. Wow. No. Now for this one, I'm going to hold your ankle right here and we're going to pull it in this direction like that, okay? okay. Those talus and navicular. Go let this relax. Good, gentle. For the iliocecal. <laughs> it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty intense. Um, it starts with the iliocecal valve. This is where the small intestine travels into the large intestine. So we locate this valve by uh, first finding the belly button. Yours is right here, marked by a diamond. And then the ASIS is right here. This is the front of the hip bone. We connect these two points. And this is where we begin looking for the ileocecal valve. And that you're still absorbing nutrients right now. Mm -hmm. Probably from breakfast. It's too far. Mm -hmm. Could be anything at this way. All right, the next is the pyloric sphincter. This is the where the stomach goes into the small intestine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we go to the belly button and we go two inches above that, four finger lengths. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to belly breathe? Uh, I'm not sure. What's that? I don't, I don't know if like just like make your stomach go yes. up and down. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think you can do it. Okay. okay. Here, put your legs down. All right. So this one requires some belly breathing. So what you're going to do is breathe into your belly. So your belly comes up. Now see how all this up here is moving? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let that go. Relax. You want to move just your belly. First, just push your belly out. Breathe that belly in. See if you can leave everything shoulders up here completely still. Okay. Only move your belly. Feel yourself fight it there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Reflexively, you wanted to use your shoulders. Good deep breath in and out. <laughs> Good. It was so, like a big gurgle. Yeah, yeah, it was a big gurgle. Corner. It's mm -hmm. super easy for things to get caught there. Um, especially when you're not using your diaphragm to breathe. If you use your diaphragm to breathe, that increases the gastric motility. You can keep your digestive system. Interesting. Good. One more breath. We're going to follow this one out. Good. No! 
<laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Breathe. Oh my god. You need to breathe. <sighs> and you might be sore right now, and that's okay. Yeah. Uh, if it hurts pretty bad. It's yeah. supposed to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It'll dissipate. Quickly. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like up there. Tell me how you're feeling. Ow. <laughs> and a few seconds after that, I like couldn't breathe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Feeling better. How's it feels? Feels good. Like I still feel a little pressure in upper mid back, but okay, good. It's not nearly as intense as it was a minute ago. All right. Upper back neck. Go ahead and look up at the ceiling. Pain discomfort? Nope. Go to the other side. Pain discomfort? Nope. We'll do the right rest. Mm -hmm. Go let this relax here. Just kind of sink in. Good. Tender? Mm hmm Yeah. Tender. Oh, yeah. Tender. Yeah. Tender. Yeah, quite a bit. Get ready that one more time. Push your elbow back. Push, push, push. Good. Right side. Push, push, push. Keep pushing, push, push, push. Push, push, push. Oh, my shoulders are locked. Hold on like this. We're going to reach forward. Oh, that relax. Okay, same thing on the left. We're going to hold on to the bottom of the elbow like this. Go lean forward a little bit. Go a little relax. Whoa. I didn't know ears could crack. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.